wouldn't you want to like you know maybe stay under the radar if you're just slinging <laughs> like copious amounts of cocaine All right, gentlemen, let's go back to 1980, Boston Marathon, to the legend of Rosie Ruiz. Now, Rosie Ruiz, for those of you that don't know, in 1980, on Patriots Day, Marathon Monday, here in Boston, Rosie Ruiz was the first female to cross the finish line in a time of 2.31.56. And on that day, she was named the Boston Marathon champion it came out shortly after days after that she had cheated she had cut the course and she comes running down boylston just kind of stumbling around awkward form in a cotton t-shirt with a with a little bit of sweat it looked like you know she had just dumped some water on herself to look like she was sweating but she comes running across you know stumbling across the finish line not at 231 pace stumbling across the finish line into the arms of race officials and you know the announcers are stunned they're like where did this girl come from she wasn't on any of the coverage up to this point this is unbelievable that was the only thing she pulled off well though was the collapse into the guy's arm at the end like that part mm-hmm. you're looking at it and it's like that's what you should look like she didn't look like it comes in the stretch but you know she's falling apart she's running world pretty much world record pace or just right behind it after that i mean it falls apart, and and maybe I'm just just looking at it the lens of today, but I just can't believe that they even like give her the time of day of putting like you know the wreath crown on her and all this yeah, stuff. What are they gonna do, Trent? Right? Like you can't you can't call her a cheater the second because you have no like. Imagine if you called her a cheater and it was just like, oh, actually no, like this is just like a crazy Cinderella story and she did win it. And the reporter who's asking the questions like can tell something's up, right? Oh, she's she asking drilled the hell out of her. Yeah. Have you been doing a lot of heavy intervals? Um, someone else asked me that, and I'm not sure what intervals are. <laughs> what are they? What, what about any of your past races? Do you hold any other records or uh, performances? This is my second race. But she she couldn't actually go through and, like, like call it out. or I mean, I guess, what are you going to do? You're on national television. But, but she said it without saying it. Rosie Ruiz, the mystery woman winner. We missed her at all our checkpoints. She came through the finish in a fantastic 231. We have to confirm that time at this point. Publicly, she's never said that she didn't cheat. She, you know, till the day she died, stood by the fact that she ran that. That's time. the best part. That's the Which, best part. Right. Until the day she died, she claimed that she was the rightful winner of the 1980 Boston Marathon, which is just outrageous. She would later on in life, get arrested in Miami for delivering two kilos of cocaine. And it would, she would, she would go on to discover that she was essentially the middleman between a drug kingpin and like drug dealers, just, just, you know, transporting these kilos of cocaine back and forth as her job. She also, she also allegedly stole $50,000 from the company she was working for. (laughs) I mean, th- she might be one of the most interesting people to ever grace. I was just going to say, Earth. I need a movie. I need a Why hasn't there been a Rosie Wee's movie? You almost got to respect it. It's crazy. 